Hi, my name is Easter Fanning. I'm a student at the University of Nairobi. I'm pursuing a bachelor's degree in economics and statistics, currently in my fourth year of study. Um, I'm a financial analyst as well. Yeah, I'm also a podcaster with the Kenya's Market Map. My, my personal finance journey since doing Central Army Campus Edition has been smooth, to say the least. Um, that is not to mean that I always have money, but whichever situation I am in, my, in terms of finance, personal finance, I'm, I'm always comfortable with it, knowing that I did not get there by, if it's, on a, if it's in a bad place, um, I did not get there by wrongdoing or by mismanaging finances and all that. And when I'm at a better, play, better place financially, I know how to manage my money and so I'm comfortable. I'm not, I'm used to um, managing finances. I, I'm used to having cash. And so when you see, when you have cash and you don't know how to, you're not used to having cash, let's say a given amount of cash, you will be uh, unsure about how to manage the cash. But once having gone through that course, I know so well where to put this money, when to put it and what to expect when I put it where. Yeah, so that gives me a lot of confidence in handling my personal finance. The, the lesson that stuck to me the most was that saving is not investing and investing is not saving. So just by that, it, it, it says a lot in a few words. That is, whenever you get money, you know that when you put it, by putting it aside, it's like you're, well, this is my mantra now. Um, I, I paraphrase the whole thing. That now saving is addition and investing is multiplication. Once you have that put on that way, you, are, you always know what to do at all time depending on what outcomes you want. So if you, let's say you're saving up for something, let's say a phone, you know how to do it. You know that if I have this a thousand shillings, I can put it here, it will multiply. That is now investing, invest it somewhere, let's say in a money market fund, which to me is a saving um, platform, but that's a conversation for another day. Um, put it there, have it in an interest. And so even when you're projecting your incomes, you're able to project the income, the interest that you earn from that, place that you've invested that cash and so you can plan. So even as you save and you invest depending on the mix, you just have to develop the mix depending on whichever place or outcome you want to achieve. <laughs> yeah, that's been the biggest goal that is to always save when I need to and to always invest when I need to and that the two are mutually exclusive. I grew up in a family where we were taught about how to interact with money but we were taught how to do it, but the, 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 the lesson that didn't come out quite clearly was why. So, for example, I knew I needed to save, so which is to put money aside. I didn't know how to invest. When you're a kid, you're taught how to save, then you figured out how to, how to invest later. So I was taught how to save, and I used to save. I was diligent at it, but then I didn't know why I was saving. And so the difference between those two is that one in one, in the former, you have you develop a scarcity mindset. You always want to keep in money aside. You want to hold things, but in the latter, that is um, now in the situation where now you know why you're doing it, why you're putting money aside. It gives you a forward-thinking mentality, and so you're always thinking ahead. You're always strategizing. Yeah. So I think that's how it has affected my university life. Is that's how I interact with money, and you, in university, how you interact with money says a lot about your social life. So for example, you cannot go to or for as much parties as you'd like to when you need to save, depending on what you're working on at that particular point in time. Um, even how you spend your money also, because if you have, say, a thousand bob and you have given opportunity costs and, and, and the fact that we have so many needs, financial needs and that are competing with each other, you learn how to prioritize. And so I've learned to do that so well from the St. Anomie Campus Edition. Yeah, I would say yes. The program has affected, to some extent, how I interact with my friends and family as well. Because um, before, before the program, you learned how to... I didn't know, sorry, I didn't know how to prioritize things. When you budget now, you are left with a finite amount of money. And it's, it's a fixed amount of money, and you know this is, the, this is the much I can afford to play around with. And so when friends call you for parties, when friends call you for, for financial assistance, you can help, you can help or you can, but mostly um, I find myself thinking so hard, having to think so hard about whether or not to 
do that whether or not to help someone out with something. Well, if I can, I do. But it's, it's, it's a thought that I really have frequently nowadays. So my long-term goal is to be a CFO, that is a Chief Financial Officer in a listed company in this market. Okay, at least for now. I want to be a CFO in this market. That might change later, but that's the goal now. Um, and Centonome really helped me with that because, first of all, it is then that I decided that this is the course I wanted to do because Centonome teaches you about, in the, the course I took, that is the uh, campus edition, you are taught about um, career planning. So with career planning, it's, there's a lot of there are different topics and all that, um, and one is career mapping. And so I was taught how to, career, how to map for my career. Back then I was in, now I'm in fourth year, back then I think I was in second year, second year of university. And so I identify what it is that I wanted to do, what would lead me on there, and how I'd get there. So that came out with, with aspects like personal branding, which, is, which says something about how you put out yourself to the public, how you portray yourself. That is how you communicate, how you present yourself, that is in terms of even appearance, how you dress, your posture. It taught me a lot, grew my confidence a lot, has gotten me to some level of growth since then till now. And yeah, well, that's my plan. Now that you know, my plan is to be a CFO and St. Tommy has helped me so much by equipping me with the skills that I need to get there. And largely I'm on track with that. Early this year, earlier this year, this is 2021 at the time of recording, um, a friend of mine, Kegan Kiplimo, approached me then. He had this idea that you had to start a financial podcast, which is called Kenya's Market Map. Okay, at, that, at the time he was approaching me, we hadn't decided on the name yet, but it was welcome. This is a topic I was very passionate about, and so our interests were aligning, and so I bought in. And so a few, a few, a few months later, we launched Kenya's Market Map, which is a Kenyan financial podcast and financial stroke business podcast, uh, where we talk about the uh, occurrences in the corporate and business scene in the Kenyan market, Africa as well as um, abroad, should the need happen. So, starting that has really been insightful because, for one, I've had to research a lot. I've had to because there's a platform where you put yourself to the public and then I just talked about um, personal branding earlier. Um, you realize that through such a platform, but they go check us out on YouTube, through such a platform, you let yourself out, you expose yourself to the public. And so what you see, how you say it matters a lot. And it's, it's even opened opportunities for me because I, help, I have people um, interacting with me, giving me feedback on how the, the podcast is, how it's, it's insightful and, and, and giving them an understanding of what is happening in the Kenyan market scene. Uh, it's, it's quite validating and I think Centono may help me with the personal branding in that aspect. I'm so intentional about how I put myself out there. And so that comes out so much in the podcast. 